Okay, so uh, what we have here is a multi-touch sensitive spherical display, um, and th this is built on top of a commercially available uh, spherical display made by Global Imagination. Uh, we added here the ability to sense multiple touches on a spherical surface, uh, and that is done through the same mechanism that the projector is using, so basically through the lens down below, uh, we are capturing the user's touches on the entire surface around, around the globe here. Um, what I'm showing here is just a prototype application that lets you scale images around, uh, and the basic idea here is we wanted to explore collaborative actions uh, with multiple people around it, because that's one of the benefits of, that you get with this uh, sphere. Uh, you, you Everybody who is standing around it gets the same, gets an uh, equally valid view, and nobody, nobody has like a master position. Uh, so one thing that we did is we explored different ways to pass objects around if you actually want to pass them around. So one thing is kind of to flick uh, pictures around it. Uh, the other option is to actually physically drag it, uh, or you can simply hold your hand over and send it to the other side. Uh, we call the send to dark side uh, idea. Um, one nice thing that the sphere allows you is that you have this notion of pseudo privacy. That is, if you are on one side uh, and you put a picture on one side, I can actually guarantee you that you're not going to be able to see this picture right now, unless you break uh, basically a social protocol. You come closer and 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 uh, look into it. Uh, it's not a really a privacy in a, in a security sense, but it's it is a privacy uh, in a kind of social sense of, of privacy word. Um, so we we think that this particular uh, unit is it's very inviting for multiple people in in a highly trafficked area such as kind of like a conference exhibitions here right now or lobbies uh, where where basically people would need to get some small number of uh, some some small information uh, and they could share the same interface for that uh, I can show you a couple other uh, applications this is my menu here and one is to just look at the image of a globe. Uh, it's kind of a typical one that everybody asks for. Um, the other one is, is we can we kind of spruce that one up and, and download the, the globe with the exactly uh, night and day time right now that's happening around the world. Um, Let's see what are the other ones. With the the options that we were looking at also were uh, how to uh, interact with omnidirectional data. So what you see here is a view from our uh, ring camera that looks in 360 degrees around it, and we mapped it here onto the surface. So as you're looking here, you can actually see our two of us, or more, actually a couple of us <laughs> in the image, uh, filming this right now. Um, the idea also is to provide an equally compelling view to everybody around it. Now obviously there's some contention issues here because if multiple people want to navigate this it becomes a little bit uh, problematic. But one thing that is actually possible is because you can actually see and, and, and visually interact with everybody around it, you're able to, um, we, we believe you're able to socially mitigate those, those situations. Um, let's see if I have a, another, uh, another demo here. Is, uh, this is also another omnidirectional view, uh, and what, the, what you can see here is actually uh, kind of a virtual walk through uh, downtown Seattle around Pike Place Market. And what we did is we basically mapped the uh, omnidirectional data captured uh, on a car uh, and, and put it around the, the sphere. Don't, don't you have a game on there as well? Can you show us that one? Uh, I do have a little Pong game. Um, the idea here is that you can actually use not just the touches which we track for, for all the other applications for example photos, but you can actually use your entire touch surface uh, to, to bounce objects off of it to basically create uh, virtual barriers and, and uh, play a kind of a typical pong game around that. Yeah. All right, well, thanks very much.